It's one thing to go to the store and buy a watch. It's another when you get to build a watch. Last year I did a video with me building a DIY watch club watch and today I'm going to be putting together a rotate watch. I wanted to make these videos to really clear up some of the confusion with the expectations of building these watches and the reality of building these watches. In this video I'm going to be putting the rotate watch together and comparing the experience to building the DIY watch club. So make sure you stay till the end that way you find out which one of these is a better option for a better experience. I'm Bill Sweet and welcome to the Dad Bod. Last Christmas I put together a DIY watch club watch. It was this blue skeleton watch here. It's pretty nice. It's a good conversation starter. I wanted to do a little bit different this year so I got a watch from Rotate Watches and I went with a dive watch. It arrives in this white box here. It was a bit of a pain to slide the inside box out of this outer layer but I eventually got it with the help of a pocket knife. There's a bit of foam over the top. It's not glued in or anything. I just have no fingernail, so it took a little bit to get it off. And then it says right here, flip me. Don't fall for it. It's a trap. That was the sound of all of the watch components falling to the floor. They're not really secure in there. They just sit in there similar to these tools in the bottom layer under some foam. So let's get the tools on the table. I took my time with this. I had a bunch of issues that I needed to figure out, so it took me about 45 minutes to get the watch together, but I'm gonna cut out a lot of the fluff. You don't need to watch me doing Google searches to find out what to do because the instructions were pretty vague. Not a whole lot of information to follow, much to be interpreted. That's what this orange paper says. Go to this site for the instructions. And these are the instructions. Yep, like I said, they're pretty vague. These are the tools that were provided. We have a screwdriver, tweezers, we have a spring bar, pliers, super glue for some reason, watch link remover kit, and the gloves. First thing we need to do is take the mechanics of the watch out. You don't actually put all the gears together, it already comes together. There is a kit that you can get separately where you put all the gears and stuff together, but they suggest that you do that as a side project because it's almost guaranteed to not tell proper time. We need to remove the pendulum from the back of the watch so it doesn't get damaged in any way while we're putting the watch together. That's what does the automatic winding. And then we take the face of the watch and we put it on the watch mechanism. It has these two slots right here that we put these two pins into. and done. Next we take the tweezers and we need to pick up the hour hand. It goes on the faceplate. As you can see it's luminescent. The hour hand has a hole in it and that's what we need to put around the pin in the middle of the faceplate. We need to push it on secure without bending the hand down, otherwise it's going to get caught in the hour markers. And then we do the same for the minute hand. This one was kind of being a pain in the butt, but I eventually got it. And then the second hand snaps into the top. Whoops, I dropped it. The second hand snaps onto the top. Eventually it snaps onto the top. It's real hard to see. The DIY kit gave me a magnifier to see things easier. This rotate kit is severely lacking when it comes to the tools that you need. It's got like half of the stuff as the DIY kit provided. All right, and a quick spin check to make sure everything is moving as it should. The hour hand seems a little bit caught. Let's fix that. All 
I am scratching the heck out of this blue face paint here. And that's better. Now we need to take the temporary crown off. There's a little button that we're supposed to press and the crown just pulls out, but that button isn't here. There's a button on the picture and the instructions that isn't here on the actual watch. I did a quick Google search of people's complaints and issues and how they resolve them. Turns out the crown has to be pushed all the way in. The instructions don't tell you that. So I push the crown in and here it goes. I am able to take the crown out. Next, we take the plastic inside piece out of the watch case and we put the watch mechanism inside of it. Need to line it up just right as so. And we put the plastic piece over the mechanism. It needs to be put in at the perfect angle so that way it lines up with the divots inside of the dial. Problem is, I can't actually see the divots while putting the piece in since they're so small. There we go. Then we take the metal piece from the temporary crown and we screw it into the permanent crown. Using the pliers to hold it in place and then we put it through the dial and into the watch until we hear that snap. Then we carefully take this pendulum. It has to line up with the center perfectly so that way we can get it back on. Gotta make sure we don't bend it at all. Then we screw it back onto the back of the watch mechanism. And here's where it gets really fun. Watch me try to screw this back plate on without the proper tools. Not that I chose to do it without the proper tools, they just didn't include it with the kit. Unless you have the case back screw on tool to screw this on, you're never gonna get it screwed on, which is what I'm finding out right here as I'm ripping the gloves off of my fingers. Nope, it's still not going on. I'm gonna cut the video for a second here. I spent about 10 minutes trying to get this on before I gave up and pulled out my DIY watch club kit for the proper tool. We get it sized right so it matches up with these divots on the back. Give it a few turns. A few more and there you have it. Look at that was easy with the right tool. We'll test it one more time to make sure everything still works and it does, that's awesome. All right, all that's left to do is put the bracelet on it. One side done off camera because I was having a hard time. We put the pin in and snap this side into place. Use the pin tool to push it down on the other side so we can get it on. And done. Let's try the watch on. Fits pretty nice. I might remove one link later on just to make it fit a little bit better, but that's about it. And I do have to say, this was not a pleasant experience at all. The instructions were way too vague. There was no tips, just a bunch of guesswork. They don't give you half of the tools that you really need to put to this watch together. You really need some sort of a magnifying device to be able to see the tiny pieces that you're putting them into place. You need a bit of putty to pick up the watch hands properly and get them into place without damaging them. And you need the case back screw on tool to actually get the back of this watch screwed on properly and secure. This kit doesn't include any of that. So here's a link to the DIY Watch Club video from last year. I would absolutely go with the DIY Watch Club over rotate watches after putting this watch together. So check out that video and I'll see you there.